Hello, welcome back to my channel, Jeff Greenway Outdoors. It's the weekend again, thanks for coming along. Today, I'm gonna to do a, like a yearly, a year review of my first ever tent that I bought for wild camping. If you're like myself, and watch YouTube, and in the wild camping videos and all this here, you've probably noticed that ODX have brought a new range out of ultra light gear. Uh, for me, that might maybe confuse like the beginners out there, and we all are beginners, so we're at some stage of the game. Uh, I still am, I've only been out 14 or 15 times. But I bought this to use, the OEX Fox 2. I'll give you a look around this one, which I think is probably one of the best ones to start out on. Tense, and I'll show you the pitching, the measurements, the price. Again, it's only my advice, and if you're a beginner, I wouldn't be looking for the ultra light stuff. But if, if that's what you're into, that's fine. This video might not be for you, but come along with me and we'll have a look at this Fox 2. So this is the way it comes. When you buy it, I'll just give it a quick measure here. It is 21 and a half inches, roughly 55 centimeters by five and a half inches, 14 and a half centimeters by, let me see, again, oh, I'm going this way in fact, sorry, which would be, again, five and a half centimeters, 14, or five and a half inches, 14 and a half centimeters. And that's with your, the inner and outer in the bag, two poles and 18 pegs. So that's it. Without the pegs or the poles, poles and pegs, you can get that down to 12 inches, which isn't too bad. You could maybe get it in the rucksack, but if you're like me, I like to keep the poles and pegs in the bag just to keep everything together. So we'll get out in the back garden, we'll pitch it up and we'll take it from there. So that's it all let out. You're in there, you're out Pegs and poles. It's an inner pitch first, so I'll get a move on. It's starting to spit a wee bit, so just typical. That's the end up, three minutes. Uh, I did peg the corners out at the start, but I did have to loosen them out there just to get the bottom end in. So the, that's the big pole, goes at the head end obviously. The smaller end, or a smaller pole uh, for the foot end. Great wee tent, love it so I do. But I'll get the outer on and then I'll bring it back.
as the rain comes on. Uh, that's basically the structure in place. I just need to go around and peg it out. As you see, in the, there's four tie out points, at each, one at each corner. Just a simple clip. And then I'll peg the rest out now. I think that's it really. That was in total probably about six minutes. Great. And like I say, it's starting to rain, so the inner hasn't got wet really that much, if any. If you've seen, I've got a ground sheet. Just put the ground sheet down because the grass is a wee bit wet. So it is. So I'll get it pegged out. Just the walk around there, that's the ventilation at the back of the tent. It's just a wee flap, velcro one, held there, gives you good airflow going through. And then the front of the tent, you've just got no ventilation there, just where your feet would be. And they're gate out, so definitely great airflow through it. It's close to the ground as well. And no way would it be a four season tent, but there wouldn't be much wind getting underneath it. That's it, all pitched up, eight, nine minutes tops, by the time you get it all out and get your pegs in and make sure you've clipped them on. <laughs> Forgot about them. It's been a while since I've used this one, probably about five months maybe, but it's a good reason as any to get it out, get it aired. And as you can see by the floor, I've took half the mountain with me. So for beginners, it's a perfect one. Great size. I'll sort of talk you through the vestibules now. You've got one on either side. I'll give you the measurements and all. So obviously you'll have your sleep pad here, pillow, sleeping bag, boots and all outside, cook system, and I put the bag at the other side. So you've got the, you can still use your two doors. So the trusty tape measure. It's coming in at about that's seven foot, well, 85 inches. 215 centimeters from where your foot would be to where your head would be. Yeah, the widest part of the tent 45 and a, 45 and a half inches, 114 centimeters. The highest part is 35 inches, which is 88 centimeters. Again, like I said, this is a beginner's tent, so you wouldn't be going, you wouldn't vanish off in the winter for winter season. This is spring, summer, autumn, where you would spend most of your time outside the tent, only be in it for sleeping, and if you are get caught into a summer sun shower. So one of the best to be there yet itself. Not overly massive, but like I said. You get your boots, cook system, one side, rucksack the other side. So measurements from the 
the widest point would be 21 inches, 54 centimeters. And that goes on the sea seat, right there. Realistically, you could probably have three foot of that as well, which would take you to there, still give you plenty of room to get in the middle of the tent. Cooking, cooking in the tent. Can't ever recall actually cooking in the vestibule or in the fox, but you probably could if you were confident. <laughs> I wouldn't be overly confident using the, the gas in the tent, but definitely enough space there. And like I say, it's mirrored on both sides, so enough room for your stuff. Not a two-man tent, definitely, but starting out perfect. That's me sitting up in it. You can set up and get changed. Well, to be honest, it's the middle of May doing this, and it's it's raining outside at the moment, as you can probably hear. But it's it's trapping the heat really well. Well, loads of solid walls, mess at the bottom, mess at the top. Good bathtub height on it as well. One last look around the inner. It's obviously got your lapping hook there. I mean, I forgot about the two pockets where you could keep your electricals, phone, stuff. Stuff that you need handy. Close to you. So the main reasons for this tent is to get out. If you're a beginner, it's cheap, budget enough. It's got a 5,000 hydrostatic head. It's coming in as a two-man tent. Don't think it's a two-man tent, definitely not. One man on our stuff, on their stuff. Uh, Not really much more to say about it. I just I'm hoping to bring it back to the channel in the next few weeks. On the longer hikes. Never forgot the weight. The weight is 2.1. Now if you're into saving grams and stuff like that there, this might not be the tent for you. But this video is mainly for beginners starting out. And for 80 pounds. I've just double checked. 80 pounds, that's a sir. It'll get you out and about. No hassle at all with pitching in dry weather. But like you've seen, it started raining and it's perfectly dry inside. So, hope you like the video. Thanks for coming along, subscribing and liking. I'll see you all next week.